Hey guys, Mike from Toyota Tech here, and I wanted to give an update on the uh, 2019 Hyundai Veloster. So this is actually my main ride or my daily, uh, and I, I usually drive this to work, but on one of my last videos, I actually posted uh, that, uh, you know, the paint on this was actually already kind of gonna go out. And not sure why, uh, this is more of a plastic piece or trim on the actual car itself, so maybe that's why, but I did notice that that happened on my last uh, vehicle as well, which one, which was a Hyundai uh, Accent, but it had have like a little piece that was still plastic. By the way, Kakashi, shout out to Kakashi, shout out to Pokemon Go. Uh, but for the most part though, uh, I wanted to kind of just update you guys and show you what the finished result looked like. So in this case, um, you know, they, they did a great job. It was in the, it was in the body shop for about a week and got to give the uh, boys at uh, Toyota of far a big shout out because again uh, since the car was still under warranty i didn't have to pay a dime for for the actual uh, repair or the or the repaint on the on the fender there not the fender but the spoiler there and for the most part you know i did want to just uh whoa for a second there i thought i had a flat tire by the way but everything's good okay but anyways um for the most part you know i did want to uh, just go over uh, my car in general and talk to you guys about it so i did buy this car in fall of 2019 or excuse me fall of 2018 so i bought it in fall of 2018 right when uh the new version of the volusher came out uh you know i was actually looking for an elantra uh turbo sport or whatever uh, at the time because th those ones actually looked extremely nice uh but for the most part you know this uh, vehicle uh has been pretty nice to me you know i, I went looking for another car and I, I ended up buying this one and i've always liked the velosters this is a second gen veloster and for the most part i i really like the new body styling of it and i really love the headlights by the way i really love the fact that these leds uh, down here the way they look at nighttime etc i love the tire design I thought it looked extremely cool and it looks pretty cool from a distance also so i'm a big fan of that again this is the 2.0 premium so this is naturally aspirated this is not see if i can do a wide shot so this is not um you know the turbo charge which is 200 horsepower this is probably about 150 horsepower uh, out of the gate uh it does have a sport mode which you know gives you a little bit of more uh it feels like it gives you a little more uh horsepower it feels like the, thr the throttle opens up a little bit gives it a little more uh, power so usually when i'm driving around this car around on the highway um you know it's uh let me go ahead and unlock it so let me give you guys a tour here so i did i did just vacuum it and wash it uh, recently so it, it is a little bit of clean by except for that bird duty right there so there's that and i'm holding the mask so sorry about that it's but yeah for the most part you know this thing does have like a mix of uh, leather and uh cloth seats which i'm i'm pretty big fan of and, and if you look in here there is a uh, veloster embroidered right in the middle and it does have heated seats not cooled seats uh but that's okay that's something that i can trade off for you know that you do have that eight inch infotainment system that does have apple carplay and android auto uh so i don't have uh, my connector in there right now but if i ever go on road trips i will use the apple carplay so that i can use the maps so definitely, uh, you know, this car, I've already had it for a good two years. I'm going on three years coming this October because I bought it at the end of October in 2018. Definitely not a big car. So if you guys are wanting to uh, commute or whatever, I mean, on the highway, I do. I am able to get around easily. But at the same time, if I've wrecked this car or so whenever it rear ends me, uh, things probably might not be good. Uh, but I'll go ahead and knock on wood there. Uh, but again, guys, you know, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick update oh hello copyright oh wait never mind this channel isn't monetized so yeah for the most part you know uh this this car does get the job done for me and i i enjoy it usa by the way gotta represent and i do like the tell light tell light design kind of reminds you of the marcia lago or like the lambo style tell lights and you're i actually see that on a lot of vehicles now which is surprising uh, let's let's go ahead and do that wide shot again and again i am trying to shoot in 4k at 24 frames a second so hopefully we'll see how this goes i'm going to just direct directly upload this on youtube and i am sitting at about 30 subscribers now and if you guys are wondering what i'm filming on i'm actually filming on my iphone 12 mini i really wanted to kind of test the uh you know test this out and see see what it looks like so definitely um you know i really enjoy this car uh, if I do end up trading it in after a year or two, I might end up just getting like, you know, I might end up just uh, 
trading it in for a truck or maybe another sports car. Uh, you know, I really enjoy hatchbacks. I think uh, hatchbacks are very attractive looking vehicles. And actually one of my first cars was a hatchback. It was a 1988 Honda CRX. And uh, if you guys are familiar with those Honda CRXs, you'll know. By the way, that someone's driving a nice little Honda Civic over here, by the way. So get, get a shot of that. I can only shoot up to 3X on the iPhone 12. So that's a nice little Honda uh, Civic with um, low, low rider style rims. Uh, but anyways, I've always been a fan of hatchbacks, you know, whether it be like the Volkswagen uh, Bunnies or GTIs or I don't know, just older type vehicles, I guess. Like, you, you know, even Beetles for crying out loud. I was a fan of, uh, you know, Volkswagen Beetles. And uh, for the most part, you know, I've never really owned like a regular four door car. I've either owned a hatchback or a truck. And currently, again, if you guys follow the channel, you guys know that um, that I do drive a Toyota 4Runner, which I will, uh, I am going to start putting in some work later on in the year. I'm going to start, uh, you know, getting the suspension worked on on that and maybe get a, maybe get a lift. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, guys, again, for the most part, you know, I just wanted to kind of give you guys the update on that. Again, you know, they, they did replace the, uh, you know, the AC compressor recently also on that, which is weird because, again, the car's only two years old. For, so for something for that to fail is pretty interesting. Uh, but again, because the car's still under warranty, they went ahead and just fixed that. And for the most part, again, you know, I, uh, you know, I really hope that, you know, Hyundai does redesign this vehicle uh, for the third gen, at least, because I'm check out this old school truck by the way four by four with those with those devil horns on the side so so you know i i really am a fan of hatchbacks but i really wish that they would actually just make it four doors like how it, they have it on this side because i really do like the how it looks more on the on the passenger side rather than the driver's side because again it's supposed to be a hatchback but it's a three-door hatchback so it's just like why not just make it symmetrical and have it like have all the doors like this on both sides and like to me that makes more sense and it's probably going to be easier for people on the driver's side to to get out and again it's not that the, you know i mean the car's decently roomy i've sat in the back myself so i mean obviously if you're going on long road trips it's just not going to work out but again guys you know hold on let me put this back on one next i was starting to see a little bit of graininess a little bit of graininess uh trunk's pretty okay also you're probably gonna see my mess in the trunk over here uh have like a jacket and a trash bag <laughs> and whatnot it's actually pretty roomy though and i do have the uh sub one of the subwoofer speakers right there two of them actually so the, the infinity sound system on this vehicle actually sounds pretty amazing that's one of my that's one of my favorite things about this vehicle i'm gonna go ahead and get it turned on and we'll go ahead and go from there but but yeah guys i just wanted to uh kind of give you guys an update on that uh today's my day off and my car is rarely this clean so usually you'll see like a bunch of wrappers and everything right now right now i just have napkins sitting here so that's good so i'm gonna go ahead and get this turned on love the way the dash looks when you turn it on also very plain but also you know it doesn't look bad at all to me either so again guys this is mike from toyota tech signing off you know don't forget to all right don't forget to subscribe though sorry i think the video could cut off when my bluetooth was connecting but don't forget to subscribe again there's a lot of little quirks and features about this car that i really haven't gone over uh, again one of my favorite things is the lane keep uh, assist and then the uh warning uh, when you have someone in your blind spot so that's one thing that i feel like if i cannot go without if i have to, if i buy a brand new vehicle that's something that i'm going to get now in the future so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this just a little walk around on my uh, you know my little uh, hyundai veloster again this is my daily driver and for the most part i am really trying to kind of uh you know do more and um uh, drive my toyota forerunner more is because this car is already getting close to twenty five thousand miles on it so so i really want to kind of keep the mileage down on this that that way when i do decide to trade it in i do get a little bit of a better uh i guess trading credit of course hyundai d does have the uh you know the 10 year uh you know whatever 10 year powertrain warranty so like i mean even if i have this car for 10 years you know it's gonna it's gonna look good or it's gonna be good uh, as far as trading it in because it's still gonna be under warranty my last vehicle that i traded in for from hyundai was was uh like i had it for about four or five years and they still gave me a good amount of it because i mean if you think about it if the that car was a 2014 i traded it in in 2018 it still had six years of warranty on the engine so for for for, for them to resell it and, and the buyer still have six years of warranty a lot of uh car you know manufacturers are, are not doing that so i think that's one thing that uh hyundai has over a lot of other car companies so again guys this is mike from toyota tech signing off if you guys like the video don't forget to smash the like button if you guys like my channel don't forget to subscribe and as always we'll see you guys next time thanks again for watching.